prove you're worth keeping alive for a little while longer. I cannot stop this ship any more than you could stop the tides. Not good enough. The impotent threats of a lower life form do not sway me. I will not bend to you. I was born 600,000 years ago. But a new age dawns today. I liked you a lot better when you were Ryan Kapoor. A pain in the ass sometimes. But a stand-up guy when it counted. You weren't friends with the one who gave up this body. He didn't give it, you took it. And all the others. My name is Zanu Glosa. I was born in the final days of the Age of Makhto. I am but one of many. We who took a leap of faith across the bridge of time to be reborn in these bodies. Eventually, one of you will break. You don't understand how overmatched you truly are. This craft was nothing before we imbued it with the speed required by our mission. And the Cartabula produces enough energy to drive an entire fleet of ships like this one. But when we wake the Aphelion, we won't need a fleet. The Aphelion? Only then will you understand the might of the Takan Empire. Reborn at this time. This is just a drop in an ocean of power you cannot even imagine. You're just stalling and we don't have time for this. Is this... Aphelion... ...worth your life? Come on! This goes from bad to worse unless you do what they say. <laughs> Alive. He can't stop the ship. Then he will. Or we cut off his hands and use them ourselves. The moment I reduce speed or change our heading, the others will know. First, they'll just resume course from elsewhere. Trivial matter. And then, they will come here. For you, this is a dead end. That's a risk I'm willing to take. Not if they're just going to start it again. So you believe him? I'm not sure. Why would you tell us all this? I tell you because I value my own life. When my fellow Scions come, and they will come, I expect you'll all act like the savages you are, and a battle will ensue. We've all died once. I don't intend to do so again. I won't touch those controls. If you want to get us killed, do it yourselves. You fear death. There's a way to stop this ship for good. And he knows how. He just needs more pressure. What kind of pressure? We heard him. He'll talk. Trust me. That's against Starfleet protocol. You're not on a Starfleet ship. Your protocol does not apply. We take the action that will lead to our victory. Don't assume your moral code takes precedence above all others. I get the impression you know how to make people talk. Think you can break his arm? No, don't! What the hell, Carter? We don't torture people. Did you forget what uniform you're wearing? What it stands for? This isn't like you. He'll live. Isn't that what you want? Don't you twist my words like that. I have only just begun. Stop, please! Wait! The warp cores. Our technology is amplifying the ship's output, and it still relies on the warp cores to provide plasma to the engines. Disable those. The ship grinds to a halt. Sabotage. This displays for all life forms on the ship. This is where the infiltrators are. The central artery of ship systems. Sensors. Propulsion. Weapons. And this is engineering. It's deserted. If I can get us there, can you cripple my ship? Not something I'd normally ask. But I'm coming around to it. I got this. I'm an engineer. This is my territory. Then we'll follow your lead. This plan of yours has one problem. It strands us. 
left out of the fight when there is a war going on. Our fight is here, now. This is how we do the most good. For the Empire. For the Empire. So, Carter, you didn't beam out after all. I thought you'd escaped when we boarded. I had almost hoped you'd made it off. And Nilly's there with you too, right? It's good you two are together. I know you're here, Carter. Your technology is so simple to us. You're not a fighter. I know it. You know it. That's why you're hiding. Somewhere on this ship. But the Takan Empire has so much to offer you. Think of all the knowledge lost for half a million years that you'd have access to. I know you want more from life, and I want to show you what you could be a part of. Not just the wonders you've already seen from us. In our time, we had the power to move stars. Carter, you have a thirst for discovery. In case you forgot, we were a part of something. I still am. The Federation may not be perfect, but it stands for ideals that your people clearly do not believe in. We have our own ideals. And we have our own strength. Every one of us on this crusade has fought wars more brutal and consuming than you could fathom. But I want to reach a peaceful resolution to this. Carter, we have a plan for you. And for the others, too. We don't want to have to destroy you. What's this plan you have? Is it the one where you steal our bodies and erase our minds? That's a simplistic view of it. Your memories would live on within us. We can continue this conversation in person. I'll see you on the bridge very soon. Our comm badges. She's tracking our location with them. If we have to use force to free our fellow Scions, there will be casualties. We can't stay here. And we need to disable the transmitters. Where'd you go? You don't want to talk to me? She's trying to keep you talking. I mean, I get it. But I'm trying to help you. Got it. Mine's done too. Time to hit the road. You've forgotten something. They know where we're going. Set to stun. You're not going to shoot a guy who's unconscious, are you? You keep getting in my way. You already broke his arm. What more do you want to do? I want to eliminate loose end. And I did that for you. You two forget you're on the same side? Come on! Now let's move it. 